Hello everyone, I am here in Bali. I'm here for my friend Mansi's bachelorette and um, Krishna and I just got to the villa uh, because our flight landed really early. So, time for a villa tour. And this villa is so nice and Bali in general so far has just been so peaceful, so nice, like the best vibes exactly like what I needed I feel so I'm really excited take you guys around Shalo let's go <gasps> this is the entrance and now we enter and how pretty is this bro it is literally so nice those are just feel I just feel our Bali vibes. So nice. This is the entire like whole lounge area. Then this is one room. This is the view. How stunningly pretty is this? It's really so nice. Ah, oh, it's too cute. And now, so this is basically like one room this is one room this is like outside our room and this basically is my room and all rooms like look the same so i'll give you a tour of this room krisha are you in okay this is our room stunning no that's krisha our bags lol and this is our balcony I didn't know that ant infestations were a thing, but apparently they are. And there's just red ants everywhere, which are the worst type of ants. Have you ever had a red ant bite you? Because that is just not the vibe. But this is the view from our balcony, which is basically the same view as over there. That's why I was just talking to you. And that is the other bedroom with the balcony. So if you arrive first, you get the choice of bedroom. That's a great tip. Take the step from me. <laughs> I might I thought I was locked out. I will sleep on this side of the bed and Krisha will sleep on that side of the bed. Actually, we'll both sleep in the middle and cuddle, no, Krish? No. Crazy. This is the bathroom, which is really nice. Some nice, good quality towels. It's looking G. My airport look, LOL. And great. The only annoying thing about this villa is that they've separated the toilet from that main area. But it's fine. The only thing is like imagine you're taking like a poop and then it's just like a tiny place. Crazy smells but that's the vibe of this top floor now i'll take you to the ground floor what a great time to be alive and in bali bro how lucky am i and how lucky are we all to get to experience this amazing view and this amazing pool ah oh, it's too nice there's some tiny road over here and then in that small area you can do like yoga he said lame i'm not gonna do that this is the pool this is the pool this is the pool where i'm gonna swim now and then this is heaven how nice are these chairs like i'm loving this chair vibe ah these deck chairs are giving me life and then this is another room which has twin beds and this is the fourth room so four rooms total and there is 10 of us i believe so wait there's 10 of us and there's four rooms oh there's one room here also there's one room here thank god it's like there's four rooms and there's 10 of us how are we going to survive but this is also another room which is great but how gorgeous is this place? It's so nice. Oh, 
I can't wait. Now let me do water field test to see if it's cold or um, how the temperature is of the water. Oh, stunningly great water temperature. Because it's also really hot. Uh, the temperature in Bali, it's like 25 degrees types. It's not hot, like not super hot at all. It's actually really nice and pleasant. Um, I think it gets cooler at night. But what an amazing villa. I'm so excited. So we're at this villa for three days and then we go to another villa um, in Seminyak. This is Ubud. We're in Ubud. I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, so we're in Ubud for three days and then we go to Seminyak for four days. And then Krisha and I are going to stay back for another four days. So it's going to be really fun and I'm really excited. And Bali is giving me really great vibes. And you know what else? I've been having a time and I just feel that something in this universe was like saying, Ariana, you have to go to Bali, you have to go to Bali. And now I'm in Bali and I'm feeling so at peace. And really I've been through it. Honestly, this last like two, three months I've been through it, I've been off. And so I'm just really happy to be at a place where I'm just feeling like good. I really hope this trip is good for me and it's like a great reset. Can you imagine that day Adi was like, Arena, are you going through it? Because you're looking like you're going through it and I really hope this trip is good for you. And I was like, yeah, I, know, I really hope it's good for me also. And also, can, is it so obvious that there's something wrong with me? But um, yeah, I want to like give you a good view. <laughs> but yeah, so. Those are the vibes and doing well. I think I'm gonna just like um, go to the pool, like literally just get into the pool, not ruin my hair. Um, but yeah, just wait for everyone else to come. I think they'll be here in like an hour or two hours. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited uh, for the rest of this trip. We're going for dinner today, I'll vlog as much as I can. If you have any vlogging ideas for Bali, let me know. Uh, and if you have like things to do, like recommendations of things to do, let me know. I definitely want to have like a whole eat, pray, love moment and go to like, um, and I definitely want to have like a whole eat, pray, love moment and go to like a Hilo and like tarot card readers and things like that, which we're doing. Um, and like go to temples and like, Get in touch with my spiritual side and I hope to take you along on this amazing journey and yeah, thank you so much. Um, the video is not over, there's still, I'll add some clips but yeah, thank you so much. Excited for uh, everyone to show up. Uh, a lot of these girls I went to school with and I'm so excited to see them. Be so nice, I'm really excited for everyone to meet the vlog if they are comfortable and for Mansi's bachelorette, we're gonna go mad, we're gonna have a great time. It's just gonna be so much fun and such like good vibes, I feel. Also, just look at the sky. Bro, the sky is giving. The sky is giving. Just my luck, I have come to the pool and it has immediately started raining. Immediately started raining. Um, also, some tragedy has struck, which is that, uh, so basically Krisha and I got an earlier flight, so we got here. And then the rest of the gang got like a flight that la was supposed to land like an hour after us. It got delayed. And now they're in Bali, but their bags are in Vietnam. So would not recommend getting Viet Jet because that seems to be like a regular thing that is happening with them where they just like literally misplace your bags. So don't do that. Um, but yeah. So now we just ordered some beer and snacks for them so that when they're back, they have something to feel good about. I mean, also 
Literally being in Bali is what is better than this. It's really lovely and I'm having such a good time. Like this is my dream holiday, you know, just coming, chilling, sitting, tanning, eating, drinking. Like this is what I love. Like this is my idea for good time. And then we made ourselves a coffee also. Sure, the powder also. Ew! I did yuck. And there's a lot of chipkalis also. There's like one over there, lizard. And then there's, I don't know if you can tell, there's one over there. There's actually like two over there somewhere. And then over here, but also outside. There's like two lizards. It's gross. So total, there's five lizards currently that we've spotted. And there's like creepy crawlies everywhere. But whatever, having said that, we made some coffee. Because you know, Krisha and I, party girls, bedtime is like 10, so whatever. So we're doing this and then we're waiting for the girls to arrive over here. Exciting! It is our second day in Bali and this is my fit for the next day. Our, our first full day in Bali and we're going to Milk and Madhu for brunch and I'm really excited. Last night update is that everyone came home, they were really tired obviously from their long and hectic day. So we stayed in and we played some games and we did some masti and we ordered in some pizza and we had a really hard time with grab drivers. I hate grab drivers, they kept cancelling on us and we somehow managed to get our food because we called the restaurant and then they delivered at like 11.30 at night. So it was just like very hectic. So if you're in Bali, grab, I would not trust them. They, these drivers were like texting us and were like, hey, can you give us a tip? We won't come if you don't give us a tip. Or like, we can't deliver if, had a, if your order has alcohol in it. We can't do this and we can't do that. And they were doing all this nakra. And I was like, um, I'm so sorry. Like, isn't this your job? Like to deliver? crazy. I was like, don't take up the order if you can't deliver and that is great life advice also for everyone watching. So anyway, thank you so much. I will see you guys very soon and I hope you guys enjoy and please put your Bali recs in the, rec in the comments. So thank you so much. Bye.